I would describe myself as very determined. She's very focused. I'm energetic. She's very funny. She has such a great personality. She is exciting. I like to get the crowd going and have them cheer for me. She really gives love. I have a great fighting spirit. Right now, the next goal is to become number one in the world. My name is Sonia Cannon, and this is my story. I remember this video, of course. Oh, jeez. I remember this outfit. <laughs> I was fine. This guy's tough. Yeah. Papa. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Here's a rising star that wants to be a tennis pro. Why do you want to be a tennis pro? Um, because I want to be a champion and I want to be number one in the world. He's asking me about um, if I want to be number one, and of course I want to be number one. This is the best part. Do you have a favorite tennis pro? Who is it? Andy Roddick. Oh. <laughs> Do you think you could ever return Andy Roddick's serve? Yes. How? If I split and I prepare early and when I do short back swing. I understood everything at, my, at that age. I have so many great memories. I had like some crazy talent and we knew what we wanted to do. I wanted to be a professional player. I was born in Moscow, Russia, and I moved here when I was a baby my parents and they brought me here to America to play tennis which is amazing and I'm really thankful for that. She loved balls I have to tell you. All sizes we have by like hundreds and hundreds of balls laying around in the backyard. It was really special. I was four when I started playing and I wasn't really into any kind of toys you know I was just playing with balls and I tried soccer and then tried dancing. No, I didn't like dancing. And then tennis we tried, and third time is a charm. She never was looked like a sporty child, but she has like great hands, eyes, coordination, determination, and the character. She always was a cute little kid. She liked to dress all matching outfits. We have a racket that I first picked up. It's like a Blue Wilson. If I pick it up right now, it's actually hilarious. It's like so small and cute. She's on tennis court and the racket, almost half size of her body. Around like four or five, I mean, I think probably she was more famous than now. Charity events, try to arrange for Sonia to play. People just love it when she was like going and replacing Kornikova or playing with McEnroe. She loved that, public loved that, and she was famous. It was great. Bob, how old was I in this picture? I know she won uh, Miami that year. These two pictures is the exhibition. I played with Jim Courier, and here, as you see, we played against Venus and Todd Martin. I remember that day. My mom, dad, uh, sister, grandma, we're all really close to share everything that I've accomplished up until today. It's amazing. She was determined. She said long time, I want to be a professional tennis player, and she did it. <laughs> I knew it all the time. I never had doubt. <laughs> I had straight A's. I was a good student. But then I had to decide, am I going to go to college or am I going to go professional? Luckily, I had a great run at the US Open when I played Murray in the third round. And that obviously made the decision very easy, much easier. So I knew I, was, I wanted to go professional. That was a very important match in her life. What she achieved and always was a goal, and we were very proud of her. And she has the same heritage. The only thing she didn't turn American, and Sonia did. At the net, she was really nice about it. You know, she was like good match. She played well, and also in the locker, I wished her good luck. She's a great example for me. You know, the way she fight, fights on court. That's where I got that from. You've had some coaching, haven't you? Who's your coach? My dad. Your dad. Anybody? Your dad's a good coach. Okay, good safety, big margins. And then 24 hours, it's against like traditional model. But I think this model works, and right now I think it's even more important to have father there. 
it's a nice shot. Молодец. Good job. My dad travels with me. He's my main coach, and to have him with me is is great. Go crazy, huh? When I'm playing, he supports me. You know, I know that when I look at him, he's always there. He's playing with me every every point. Sometimes I think it's harder to watch the matches and play. There's a lot that's new to me also, uh, being on a tour. There are so many things, and the better she is, the more responsibility comes with it. You gotta have someone like that who you can rely on when you know you're falling down. You gotta um, get yourself back up, and he's helped me many times. That German is amazing. It's my first title that I won. The atmosphere was amazing. Is this the first of many for this young star? Title number one for Sofia Kennan. I somehow managed through it. I played and I look forward to going there back and defending my title. That was amazing. I always look to that those new experiences. I'm very proud of her, her attitude. She's looking forward to many more. That's something I'm not going to forget. How many hours are you on the tennis courts? Three hours. Three hours every day. Do you ever get tired of it? Oh, yeah, I get a little tired of it. What do you do when you get a little tired of it? I just keep playing. I'm very focused, of course. I'm very aggressive. I'm going to stay out there for hours if I have to. I'm not going to let you just beat me. I've had so many matches throughout my career that I don't know how I've pulled off, but the fact that I never gave up, that's what got me through and changed a few things in my life, which is really important. She always been like this. She's doing something. She was always very determined since she was a little kid. You got to practice the way you're going to play your match. I guess I'm hard on myself in a way, which is good. Without that, I wouldn't be where I am today. I care about what I do, and I'm determined, and I'm focused, and I'm focused to reach my goal, to becoming number one. It's pretty stressful when you're playing and matches, so it's nice to get away from that. I like to go to the beach to tan. I like to hang out with my family and friends, I have like movie nights, shopping, of course. That's obviously nice to have that, a break, aside from tennis and the traveling. We were both born in Moscow, and then we moved here when we were like two years old. We met when she was still really little. She's three years younger than me. I used to train at Everton's Academy, so John Everton and I would be on the court, and she would always kind of just come with her dad, and she always wanted to play and hit and jump on the court. She's a really good girl and a really good friend. I'm really happy to have her. I know that she's always cheering for me, wanting me to do well, and that's important to have. She was honestly kind of annoying to play against because she had that like reputation because she was just so competitive. So she would find ways to win, and she has such good hands, so she would literally like moon ball and then drop shot. She was tough to play against, but that's what makes her so good. How much are you practicing? How long are you on the tennis court every day? Are you on the tennis court every day? Yeah, but except the rain. <laughs> we look so cute in the video. I was an underdog. I was always the smallest. Obviously, I'm doing something right. I have talent, and luckily, I'm not the smallest on the tour, so I'm fine now. I enjoy the sport a lot. You have to have passion for the sport to play. She's more than I ever expected and as proud as could be. I didn't expect anything, but I always believe that she's going to achieve some great things. And I'm looking forward for her to amaze me. I really want to become number one in the world. I've worked so hard to get to, get to where I am. And next goal is to win a Grand Slam. You've got good coaches, girl, good coaches, fast feet. You are going someplace, little rising star, Sonia.